Hey everyone. So I'm gonna be upfront. I'm I've been having a pretty bad day today. Not in the sense that anything bad happened, but it's just that I'm not I'm not feeling right. Today was just a day that I felt really lonely and really isolated, despite that not being the case. Um, it's actually nearly midnight right now, so it's uh, the day's coming to a close, and I'm I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So I decided I make a comfort piece, which you should see being drawn on screen right now. A comfort piece is something I usually draw when I'm feeling down or something rough happened that day. I'm not a big vent art kind of guy. For me, whenever I draw like vent art, it just sort of sort of leads me to wallow in feelings rather than like actually sitting with them. And I find that making pieces of art that are more comforting, there's you know a possibility I could make someone else feel better too. Someone might get the extra comfy from it. Maybe not in like the traditional sense. I don't do peaceful landscapes or anything. I mean, you know, I draw busty women for a living, so. <laughs> but then again, I guess that's comforting for a lot of people. Anyway, on to why this video is titled the way it is. For any artists that are starting out, or even if you've been drawing for a while, your art is always going to be bad. And this isn't meant to bring you down. In fact, I think a better way to put it is this. Your art is always going to feel like it's bad. Have you ever heard of lifestyle creep? It's like when you get a raise at work, or if you're like a freelancer like me and you start getting more paid jobs, you start buying things that you wouldn't otherwise buy. Those things you buy eat up all that extra money and then you're in a similar position to what you were before despite having a better income. The same happens with your art. Have you ever noticed that you do that one piece, that piece that seems to be at the peak of what you can do, and you finish it and you say to yourself, wow, I'm really, I'm really proud of this. I can't believe this is something I made. And then you try and draw more and it feels like you can't tap into that same energy that you had when you drew that piece. That's lifestyle creep. You've heightened your standards for your art ability, past where it actually is. So when you draw a piece that might be a little bit below or even the same level as that grand piece you're really proud of, it'll sort of feel average to you. And this is a good thing. This, this part of yourself is the part that is trying to push you to become a better artist. When it's not good is when your standards for yourself become so high that even though the art you're making is probably fine, it'll look like garbage to you and your confidence will be shot causing your standards to go down. Now the thing about your standards is that for the most part, your art ability will follow your standards. It just usually takes a few pieces to get there. That's why it's a good thing to have your standards slightly above your art ability. Your art ability will eventually catch up to it. But if your standards become lower than your art ability, your actual skills might start to suffer. It's hard to sit and complete a whole piece when you keep getting frustrated over like one detail or you keep erasing all your progress over and over because it never looks right to you. That will wear you down a lot and your energy will actually start to suffer. So what do you do in this situation? Well, there's two things. First thing I suggest is if you're really bad, and like you're just getting absolutely frustrated, doing art is not fun anymore, take a break from doing art for a while. Sometimes when your stuff is just really out of whack, it's good to step away from drawing for a while. Eventually your inner standards will start to reset since get more and more into the mindset of like, oh, I haven't drawn in a while, which is a good excuse to, you guessed it, not draw at your peak performance or to, if you're not really at a breaking point yet and you just sort of notice you're getting a little pissed here and there at your art lately, you know, I suggest change the goal. If your goal is to make a good drawing and you're getting frustrated, drop that goal. Switch the reason to something else. For example, the drawing that you see being done now, it the goal wasn't for it to be a good drawing, it was just to be a comfy piece that I could take as much or as little time as I wanted with. Um, it could even be like little stuff like trying out the CRT effect I attempted, or an excuse to use the Santhony font just because I like how it looks. Find something else other than draw something good to focus on when you're drawing, because even though I'm pretty sure this piece looks fine to most people, if I was worried about it being good, I would have taken the extra time to draw a background that I didn't necessarily want to draw. 
I would be worried about this arm that's slightly longer than the other one, and I bet some of you didn't even notice that until I pointed it out. To me, this drawing is a pretty medi mediocre piece for me, <laughs> but that's okay, because it's not supposed to be good. It's supposed to be comfy. Anyway, that's my advice if you're struggling with your art ability. I hope this helps some of you get out of a rut, or at least give you a new tool to put in your toolbox toolbox of art making for you to pull out if you ever start to to feel kind of kind of antsy or pissy about your art so have a good night and i'll see you next time